What's the difference between XMind 2020 and XMind 8 Pro? That's what I'm answering in this video. And as a bonus, I'm going to let you in on a little secret that a lot of people seem to miss. And that is a way to use XMind for free if you're going to use it for personal use and you don't need access to every feature. You'll find links and timestamps to everything I mentioned in the description so you can click and go to a section if you need a recap. Okay, let's do this. Okay, so let's start with XMind 8. XMind 8 is the flagship product. It's been around for over a decade and it's a big name in the mind mapping space. Then came along XMind 2020, which is the newer version of XMind 8. However, it doesn't quite replace XMind 8. Instead, it gives you a different experience. XMind 2020, as you can guess, was released in 2020 or thereabouts. And what a year that was. Functionality-wise, there isn't much difference between XMind 8 and XMind 20. Everything works the same, everything is where you'd expect it to be, and rightly so. The real difference between XMind 2020 and XMind 8 is design. With XMind 8, you're quite limited in the way of templates, but also things don't look that sexy. On the other hand, with XMind 20, you have access to lots of nice templates, nice icons, nice everything. If you want a more detailed view of XMind 2020, then click on this video. So here's the difference in real terms. If you need to create mind maps that look really nice so that you can share them with clients or prospects or use them to present things and look good, then you may want to steer towards XMind 2020. However, if you're creating mind maps for data-driven people like accountants, no offense, or you just like to brainstorm your ideas for yourself, then XMind 8 is perfect. Either way, you'll be glad to know that I have a full tutorial on how to use XMind and you'll find that here as well as in the description. Now for the bonus that I promised. Here's the thing. A lot of people commented in my original XMind 8 video that they didn't see how you could use the software for free. Well, here's how. XMind actually give you an unlimited trial. Now, unlimited normally means no limits. But what XMind mean by unlimited is a trial that doesn't expire. That means that you can continue to use the software for free as long as you don't register the software. You'll find that information on their website, and you may have heard me mention that they sent me an email explaining this. Let me know in the comments which one you're for, XMind 8 or XMind 2020, and let me know what you're using it for. Lots of very cool mind mapping tools coming up, so sub, and I'll see you in the next video.